it. With it. With it. Come on. With it. Quit. What? With it. We about to turn up in this bitch. Anyway, let's get started with with it or quit it. What am I winning or quitting today? In most industries, if you're able to retire at 29 with millions in the bank, the folks at your retirement party are hella jealous of your success. In Andrew Luck's case, his biggest fans booed him, and for that, we all lost. Joy, fans were wrong to boo Luck off the field. Quit it or quit it. Um, I'm going to wit it. They were wrong, but I don't want everyone to overreact to how wrong they were. Okay? okay. Obviously, when Heat fans were leaving the game, they thought it was over, and then it turned out it wasn't. Everyone was like, every Heat fan doesn't know anything about basketball. But that B-roll, nah. that B-roll of them banging on the door trying it's to get back great. in was worth it. It's not great. It's not, it's not our best look. I always say you want to have good stuff on tape, not our best tape. Nope. But it was like, 30 people and when you zoom in on a shot on 30 people it looks like 300 people and people hated miami particularly so, if they're all wearing linen right it'll all go down right exactly with the belts yeah. so it'll it'll all go down <laughs> however the media says it went down or other fans say it went down it really wasn't that dramatic um but that's how it goes like every fan in indianapolis was not booing andrew luck it was the end of a preseason game the third preseason game there's not even that many fans there. Like no. it's the fourth quarter of, yeah. a, of the third preseason game. So let's not be too dramatic. Those are hardcore fans that are there. And of those hardcore fans, every fan wasn't booing. They just found out Andrew Luck retired. What did, I didn't know what to think about what was happening when he retired. I like in today's society, let's be honest, there was a lot of things that popped into my head about what it could possibly be before we then started hearing news about what it actually was. Like it's a, it's a dramatic thing to hear. That said, of course you don't want to boo a guy. Who has been great for you? I, I'm I'm not a knuckle dragger, so in general, I don't walk around booing things. Even when I am at games where I care, I'm not a booer. I'm just not a booer. I'm a I'm an active participant in a lot of stadium antics. The wave from my seat. I don't raise up. You wave, Joy. I go like this. No. I mean, I, what are no, you fun killer? Like, yes, you, I you am. Can, you can lift your That's arms. It, I, but booing is a bad look, even when you're justified. You just as an adult human yelling, boo! Yeah, I'm not a boo at a person. I, I don't is love, just like I just don't love the it's boo. nuts. I don't I don't love the boo, and I feel like in general it, you, you're not really you're, you're not assessing the whole situation in general when you're booing. That said, if you're booing someone on your own team, you probably should be very sure and clear about the implications of booing said person. For it's tough when it's your like they just found out. No. I'm with you, it's and that's tough. why I'm saying like, I don't want to. They were on their phone. They looked up. They saw him. It's ugh. yeah, and I and I don't want to overreact to the situation for that reason. It's also, I'm like, why are you announcing your retirement at the game? You're on the sidelines. Like, you well, want to do that more prepared and set. Apparently, they had a press conference planned for Sunday. Obviously, it didn't go down that way. Somebody leaked it. Somebody man. leaked it, and it's so here we are. Right. Well, it happens. So I'm not going to overreact to the fans doing it. Obviously, they shouldn't do it. But I do think that that does speak to like the bigger picture of. It's kind of time for fans and everyone in general to like catch up to the new wave. Cool We've arrived jets. here. We've arrived here at the we are now in the age of enlightenment and we're all here mm. together, right? So some of us are Hopefully. taking a little longer. <laughs> yeah, that's true. To get there. All right, we're waving you on. Hurry up, guys. Come on. There's room. It's fine over here. Trust me. On the enlightened train. <laughs> It's cool over here. We actually look at us laughing genuinely over here for our yeah. differences, and we learn and share things. See that personal space that we were respecting, also. Right. That's also important here. You know those type of things. <laughs> but we're here. Like we've arrived there, right? Like we are in the state where things are changing rapidly. Rules for society are changing rapidly, and as much as there is a stranglehold on the idea of this old school mentality of grit and grind and you will sacrifice your body as a man to the skin and bones. It's like, eh. okay. You never cry. Yeah, come on. Men can cry. It's important sometimes it's, too. Sometimes cry. you just need to cry. Yeah. It's probably better for everyone if you just cry and not do what you planned on doing. I might have okay. a good cry after this. You know what I mean? Yeah, you, never know. you might need to when I'm done with you. But the point is everyone just needs to evolve, right? Like yeah. the, the, there was for the most part a, understanding reaction to Andrew Luck. Not that I'm like happy about being right about this, but I have been saying for months now, this is not a good thing that he has a lingering injury nope. that is keeping him from practicing in the preseason and training camp. It's one thing to not play a preseason game. Okay. 
pretty much everyone of, of note is sitting out of preseason now, which is smart. There's no reason to be yeah, out there. Okay? We're going to talk about Lamar Miller later. Yeah. That sucks, sucks. Okay, No need for that to happen. It sucks. Cam even got a... Cam Newton. Like, Cam? We can't lose Cam. You no need in for a Cam pretend to be game? out there. Gosh. Yeah, it's, it's totally unnecessary. That said, injuries happen, right? Yep. Okay, so... We just have to be. We just have to all evolve together, right? Like it's it, it, understand that if he is not out there for that long and he's not practicing and he's not in training camp and he's there but he's not doing team drills, it's like not a toughness it's happened issue. since April. There's something wrong here, and yep. like everyone's like, well, you know, like they're just being secretive. Like, no, something's wrong. Now I'm not saying I knew he was going to retire. Of course I didn't know he was going to retire, but. You're here. Like, we've arrived now. We know how hard it is to come back from from injuries. If you're a normal person out there, okay, you've ever broken your arm, like, your thumb, your toe, like, that, that twisted el- an ankle. That arm's clicking the rest of your life, yeah, perhaps. Right. Like it's- <laughs> I tore my ACL, so I have a deeper appreciation. And, and obviously, I've seen massive injuries. My brother, my younger brother, blew, blew out his entire knee, MCL, ACL, meniscus. Like, everything is gone. Like, he's, it's a nightmare. <sighs> My brother's had shoulder surgery. Like, I've seen all kinds of devastating injuries. But when you experience it yourself, you have a different understanding of it. I tore my ACL. It was a nightmare. First of all, I'm five foot two. I couldn't wear heels for a year. That might not matter to you, but it, it's, <laughs> it, it alters your, like, like, your life. It really does. Like, it messes with your self-esteem. My body was never the same ever again. Like, it's, it's very traumatic. And rehab is exhausting. Okay? And that's just me trying to, like, work it in some yep. heels again. I'm on just trying to, like, run too. a lap or get on an elliptical. I'm not trying to go out there and be a warrior with no conscience. At the so, highest level. Yeah. So everyone just needs to just, just realize this is what it is now. Obviously, it was a jarring retirement, but mental health is important. I know we all sound like hippies and kumbaya, all right? And it's like you're weirdos because you want to go to rehab and like talk to someone about your problems. I'm from California. This sounds regular to me. Enjoy. Okay, but there's a whole world out there <laughs> yeah. that still thinks it's weird. And and honestly, like I heard a doctor talk about it this weekend and it, and it, it just makes perfect sense. Like if you're going to take medication for arthritis or asthma, okay, or cancer or anything else like why would you not take uh, like why would you take care of your mental health in the same way and he that's what he's doing like he's saying he's mentally exhausted he's saying he's not invested and he's done so like fans reacting that way obviously they did not have that information at hand so i'm not going to freak out and call them knuckle drivers not a good look never never boo you know just yeah yeah, maybe we did we're just done with booing maybe that's a lesson there cheer i think we're done with booing or just you know think for a second you got you it over how you yeah, feel. Yeah, you got a great heckle. Let that thing fly <laughs> for you sure. Before start yelling. Put some creativity on that. It's not going to happen. It's part of, the, part of the game. All right, what's next? Okay, keeping it quarterback heel. Uh, 2012, the last time Aaron Rodgers won a Super Bowl. It was also the year Andrew Luck was drafted, but that's besides the point. 2019, young guns drafted since then, like Goff, Mahomes, and Baker, make up nearly two-thirds of the likely starting QBs this season. Joy, this is the last year for OGs like Brady, Breeze, Big Ben and Phil Rivers to dominate. Quit it or quit it. I actually hadn't had uh, Breeze in there. Let me throw that in there too. If you got about Breeze, bees. Yeah, um, forty plus. Big, big, big fan of of Drew Breeze. I'm a big fan of all these guys, but great dude. It feels like I, I'm with it. It feels like the last hey. hurrah for the old guard of the NFL. Right off into that sunset. I don't want to pin this on Andrew Luck because obviously he's not part of that, and being that he's only yeah. 29 years yeah. old, but. It just kind of feels like we're just ticking kind of towards the end. And it's not necessarily that they're not going to be relevant next year. Obviously not this upcoming year. Yep. Talking about the year after that. Right. Because I'm saying this is the last year for these guys to have the stranglehold that they have over the NFL. I don't think that Brady is going to be playing at a high enough level next year to but, do it. But he's going to look good in that Niners uniform, though. Uh, you know I mean, it's, I'm not. I'm not pushing against it. Like anything is possible. I'm. I. I believe it. Um. I. I think that Breeze is going to retire sooner than Brady does. Philip Rivers, unfortunately, plays for the Chargers. And as much as I love the Chargers, I got to see them actually yep. be that clutch team in that it moment. Would be, it would be amazing if he could. If he could ride off with one. I would love it. Ooh, that'd be great. I would love it. I'm rooting for that. So for all 15 Chargers fans out there, <laughs> yeah. don't get upset. <laughs> I like Philip Rivers a lot. With them after they left Ariana, you're a Chargers fan. San Diego. And you stuck with them? Yeah, I did. I'm in LA now. I left too. Well, that's okay. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was pretty succinct. Yeah, it makes, yeah, it makes nice. sense. Yeah. Um, yeah, and like Ben, 
I just think that the window for a Super Bowl has closed on on him and Tomlin. I think I don't know that they have the talents on the the entire the team as a whole to get to to a, not get to a Super Bowl to, to win a Super Bowl again. They but that said, the bigger picture is next year. All these guys are going. These young guys are going to be a year better. And when you look at the list, like you just mentioned, a few: Jared Goff, Patrick mm. Mahomes, Baker Mayfield, mm. Sam Darnold. We don't know what Jimmy G is going to be yet. Think he's going to be pretty good. Daniel Jones. Who knows what he's going to be? Mar Jackson, Mitch Trubisky, Carson Wentz, Dak Prescott, Deshaun Watson. Like, at one point or another, one of these guys is going to take Trubisky. take hold of the NFL. And I just Derek Carr's good too. Yeah, I mean you can put Derek Carr in there if you After want to. Hard knocks. I'm pretty. High, I'm pretty high. Oh, okay, on the Raiders, that's why. Yeah. That's why. That's why yeah. this is happening. Yeah, um, I mean for sure, fine. Put yeah. them in there if you want to. But like, there's a lot of young guys, with a lot of talent. The high level of talent of of the guys I just listed is already up there in consideration with Breeze and Brady, which may be unfair, yep. but. I mean, Patrick Mahomes is looking like that dude. Yep. Jared Goff played in the Super Bowl last yep. year, so I, I just don't think that they're going to be able to maintain it after this year. This year feels like it, a, a massive amount of pressure on each of those teams, and, and, and not not necessarily on the Patriots because like enough with the Patriots, okay? Like whatever. We know they're going to be good. They're going to win the the AFC East. Whoopty freaking do! But <laughs> yeah. what are you going to do in the playoffs? That's what I'm what I'm really actually probably more of the same, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, it's like they're kind of like the Warriors. Like, all right, we know you're going to be there. Like, no, mm. no, no. No, no, no. Warrior shade. We'll, we'll see you in don't the playoffs. Do that. Don't, don't uh, shade the Warriors. Too soon? I mean, yeah. I hate Drake so much still. <laughs> I hate him so much. Uh, 